artists. I hope everybody is doing really well today. We are going to be learning about artist Robert Indiana today. And we are going to be creating a piece of art that looks a little bit like some of the art that he creates. So I hope you're excited for art and we'll get started. Artist Robert Indiana. He's an artist that worked a lot with letters and numbers. And he's most well known for using the word love in his art. He explored different types of fonts. And his work was even put on a stamp. You might have seen these stamps yourself. Indiana's work can be seen all over the world. He has sculptures of his love um, sculpture all over different cities. Larger cities tend to have them. And he wanted his art to be accessible to people. As far as I'm concerned, love is, love is still the most important. We're gonna to need to start with a square piece of paper. So what I'm gonna do is take, this is a uh, just a piece of copy paper or drawing paper, and I'm gonna gently bend it, but I'm not gonna crease it. I'm just kind of lining it up right along the edge like that. And then I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna put a little mark here, or I can even Kind of draw a line right there across. It doesn't. I don't have to draw it the full way, but you can see the line right there. And I'm gonna take my paper and just fold that part, and then I can cut that off. If you don't want to fold it and you just want to cut it where you did, where you put the line, that's okay too. Once you cut that piece off. We're going to fold our paper in half, and we're really going to fold it this time. So we're going to push it down, and then we're going to turn it, and we're going to fold it one more time. So you will have four squares. And you're going to open your paper up. Now, for our project, you're going to come up with a word that has four letters, and we're going to choose a word that either means something to you or describes who you are and you can use a word in another language as long as you let me know what that word is and um, what language you chose. So some of the words that we could use might be love or maybe hope or heal maybe you want um, a word that describes something about you that you like to do whoops like the word draw is four letters but you have to pick one word that's four letters um, and then we're going to begin now when we work on this our letters are going to fill up each of the squares it's going to be really really large so I'm going to show you on this one, and I'm going to um, I'm going to show you how you can make it look a little bit 3D. So I'm going to first for my L, I'm going to create 
an L with straight lines. And I'm gonna actually stop just a little bit before I get to that middle spot. And I'm gonna draw a line over. So that's my capital L. And you don't have to use the word love. I am, but you don't have to. You can use any, um, any other word. And we're gonna here's, draw another line down, another line across, and we're gonna connect them on the ends. Now, you don't have to make them 3D, but if you want to, what you could do is draw a little diagonal line here, and here, and here. So the lines are going this direction. And then I'm gonna connect it with a straight line going up. Mine got a little bumpy, but that's okay. I can go back and I can kind of fix it. Just like that. And then for the O, I can go ahead and create an O. Whoop. And there we go. And then this little line in here, actually, I'm going to put it back in because it kind of shows the inside edge of the O. Now with the V, I'm going to go down a little ways, go down, across, back up, and I'm going to draw another set of lines on the inside, and I connected them, and then I'm going to do those lines on a diagonal, just like I did up top on that L. There we go. And then on the E, whoop. I'm going to leave a little space there, and I'm going to leave a little space at the bottom. And this, you just want to draw another line here, come down, draw a short line, in the, or, you know, a short middle part of your E, connect them on the side, and then, or you, you could have it come out the full way if you want. And then we're gonna draw our diagonals, and we're gonna draw the lines like that. Now, if you decided you wanted to do a different kind of lettering or something fancier, like maybe a little bit like cursive or something like that, go for it. You can also look up on Google, you could look at um, fonts, and the word font is F-O-N-T. It just means style, you know, the type of style of the, the lettering. And you could put, um, you know, if you want a silly font or a playful font, you could type that in and you'll get lots of different ideas. And then we're gonna trace with a marker. And I'm going to just make our lines really bold. Like that. And then you're going to need to choose four colors for your background behind the letters. So think about what colors you want. I'm going to pick out um, some crayons because I think that will be easier for my background. So I'm going to choose red and um, maybe purple and yellow and what do I want? Like a teal. Well, 
that's not really, is that teal? It's kind of teal. Okay. So then just start working on coloring in the background in each box and you want them to be different colors. So this one I'm gonna color in red, but the others are gonna be different colors. And I'm gonna color neatly. I'm gonna fill in my spaces like this. If you're coloring on the edge, you might just wanna hold your paper down but you can kind of color that in fairly quickly. And you might have seen how I traced around my letter. It's just kind of so I don't go over the edge of the letter by accident with my crayon. It kind of gives me a little bit of space there where I know I don't want to go quite over that far. So I'm going to do that for each of my sections and then I'm going to go back I'm going to color in my letters so let's say I was using um, maybe a purple in this one the sides here are probably going to be in shadow a little bit and then if I make this look a little lighter it will pop out so if I take my purple and I kind of push as hard as I can, I'm gonna get a nice dark purple. And I'm gonna do that on the side. And on the bottom. Then I'm gonna take that same crayon and I'm gonna lightly color in the top. And it still gives the effect that, or illusion that it's kind of 3D, the way I, the way I colored it. And then I'm going to continue doing that for each of my letters. So go ahead and work on yours.
you should have each of your letters colored in neatly and you should also have each of the backgrounds and each of those squares colored in neatly. I'm excited to see your projects. Hope you had fun learning about Robert Indiana today. See you next time.